What's up, guys? Welcome into the ninth episode of the It's Thug with Nasty podcast once again. Appreciate you for being here. Definitely uh, hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving last week. Um, I know mine was stuffing. <laughs> there was a lot of food involved. Eh, still hurting a little bit, but we made it through. And I know the last thing I wanted to do after eating all that food was move at all. Now, being the fitness nut that I am, I did make sure that I went to the gym prior to eating my Thanksgiving meals. Pretty much, I had three of them. So between all three of those meals, I made sure I hit the gym before having that food. And I also did a fast, which we'll talk about in another episode. So I had, I didn't eat my calories basically until that one meal, which I consumed definitely the day's worth of calories. But like I said, after that fact, being stuffed and I just didn't want to move, you know, but it makes me think, you know, there's plenty of gamers and stuff out there and there's definitely a problem right now in America and, and around the world. Um, there's the obesity epidemic that everyone's talking about. Gamers, we know this pretty well where we can just kind of sit in a chair and then play video games for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hours, 13. I think my longest stint was 16 hours, but I was a kid and I was being stupid. We ordered pizza twice. It was a Halo land party. Leave me alone. <laughs> I know better now. So in today's episode, we're going to talk a bit about fitness. I'm going to try to give you some tips that hopefully will help you improve yours. It's not as hard as you as you may believe. So this is another one of our series, our personal skill point series. This will be the second episode of the personal skill points. The first episode was two weeks ago. It was on hydration. So if you haven't checked out that episode yet, head back to uh, episode seven and check that out. So we want to make sure you get that full spectrum of health and fitness. So and you'll also be able to uh, know why that this stuff's so important to me. So definitely go back and check that out. So contrary to what you might believe, our bodies were made to move. We were made to walk. I mean, it's basically, basically, in the grand scheme of things, our greatest asset is our ability to walk and walk and walk and walk and utilize energy. You know, we're we're obviously not in the animal kingdom. We're not stronger than most of the animals. I mean, gorillas and tigers and bears. Those things. Those things will rip you apart. So, you know, we, so we have the brain, we have the opposable thumb, and, you know, we have the ability to move. And that's really what being a human is all about. But we don't, like, we weren't created to sit and stay seated. We weren't created to stand and stay standing. Like, we, we weren't created to just st sit here and do nothing. Whether it's playing video games or working on a computer all day long for work or or whatever, our, our bodies were designed to be moving. And to give an example of that, we have a system in our body called the lymphatic system. So unlike our regular blood flow system where we have a heart that pumps the stuff through, the lymphatic system, actually the, the lymph fluid needs to be pumped by us moving our bodies. So basically it's using your muscles and your movements to pump fluid upwards towards your head. But the lymphatic system is so important. It it aids in immune system function. Uh, you know, it clears debris and waste, dead blood cells, pathogens, toxins, and cancer cells, guys. This is a system that our body is providing us to use. But you have to move to use it. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that's a pretty amazing thing that our bodies are gifting to us. And all we have to do is move to use it. I know many will say, I don't have time to work out. I don't have time to, to do this or that, you know, get the movement in. I'm not going running. I hate running. I hate doing this. I don't like doing that. I tried to do that once and I hated it. It wasn't fun. You don't have to lift to be healthy. You don't have to run 500 miles to be healthy. You don't have to do any of this stuff. Does it help you be better? Yes. You know, <laughs> but the point is there's our activities of daily living, okay? So there's there's standard things that our bodies are made to do and as long as we can do things to improve those movements, then we're gonna have a, a solid life, you know, and grow old and still be able to move and not have too many problems. So hinge movements like deadlifts or bending over and picking up something off the floor. We have rotational movements. Anytime you're rotating your torso or rotating your arms or whatever, push-pull movements, so pushing things away from your body or pulling things towards your body, um, lunge-type movements, which like a single leg, you know, movement side to side, front and back, 
and squatting, you know, going to the bathroom or something like that. Um, these are these are movements that our bodies are designed to do. You don't have to go unrack a 400 pound barbell off a, a, off a rack to consider yourself a healthy person. That's that moves more into the performance end of things. But to be a healthy human that can handle doing daily life stuff, you don't have to do as much as you think you have to do. And I and I, and I really feel that people fear that they see these people going to the gym for one, two hours a day, you know, just to get this put all this work in on their body. You know, this is what those people love to do. That's why they're there for that long. I don't think you need to be there that long. I think the the recommendation for a weekly um, physical activity is 150 minutes, which is five days at 30 minutes. I think 150 minutes, however, is not enough time. That's still a pretty sedentary lifestyle, and uh, we we need to be moving more than that. You know, that's only that's only a small percentage of our our whole day that we're up and moving around. You know, so if you're sitting at a desk for eight hours a day, we really need to find ways to get you moving. You know, making sure like if you're if you have an activity tracker or something like that that can track your steps, like you need to be shooting for probably eight to twelve thousand steps a day. And some of the, and you'll be surprised if you sit at a desk that long, you're gonna be like, holy crap, I only get like three thousand steps a day. And even if you go for a walk, now you're probably maybe only at seven thousand steps. You know, that's like three miles a day of walking, but we need to be moving that much. Or more, you know? So I personally shoot for like eight to 12,000 steps a day, but that's including some of my workouts or walking around at work or just being out and about. I do have standing desks at home and at work, which make, make it nice, you know, so I'm not sitting all the time, but the walking still needs to happen. So whether it's taking short breaks to get a quick walk in or, you know, restroom breaks and make taking a, a different route or a different set of stairs or take, take stairs instead of the elevator or something like that, get those extra steps in where you can, because it's going to make a huge friggin' difference. <laughs> So that's step number one. Just start walking more. Get more steps in during the day. Maybe even say for this week, I'm going to try to get 6,000 steps. And then maybe next week, you'll try to get 6,500 steps and take it up and ramp it up and ramp it up and ramp it up. It's not as hard as it seems. <laughs> so yeah, start there. Step one, walk more. Step two, find something that you enjoy that makes you move your body. Is there a certain sport that you enjoy to play? You know, do you like to go bowling? Do you like to play volleyball? Something like that. If it's not a sport, do you do you like to go hiking? Trail, tr you know, walking on trails or biking? Do you like to bike? You know, there's there's so many things that you can go out and do. Rock climbing. I don't know. There's 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 a lot of things that as long as you're moving your body, it's going to be benefiting you. These are things that you can find that you enjoy that can you can kind of lose yourself in these things. Do these things. You're burning calories. You're building muscle. You're, you're just helping your overall health. Not only that, but it's getting you out of the house. You're, you're potentially making friends, you know, depending on what you're doing and socializing, because that is a monstrous part in our health as well. So our mental health is super huge and um, socializing because we are social creatures as humans. We like to be around others for the most part <laughs> as uh, introverted as we all say we are as gamers. There's there's definitely connections to be made that uh, will benefit you. I promise. And uh, if you want to get to the next level, then then you can kind of push more towards the gym area. Like if, if you're if you're walking more each day, you're maybe going rock climbing or something a couple times a week or something like that. And you want to supplement with some some weight training to maybe get yourself to the next level or some endurance training, because maybe you want to train to run something with a friend of yours that's going to run a 5K or a 10K or a marathon or something like that. Then you can push yourself into the gym. I would definitely recommend hiring a personal trainer over going to like a a box gym that has a class of like 30 or 40 people. And there's just one trainer you know, running you through a boot camp or something like that. I know a lot of people, that's kind of like where everyone kind of goes to because they want that community or whatever. But if you don't have good body mechanics and you've been doing things wrong for a very long time, it's it's super beneficial for you to go to someone that knows what they're doing and help fix and correct some of those, you know, postural deviations that you may have before you start pushing towards weight training or performance training and stuff like that because you can injure yourself. So... Please see a trainer. <laughs> I am a certified personal trainer as well. So 
it is important. They do study, they do n learn these things, and it's it's just a good thing to start with them. You know, there's many places that will give you like free personal training um, when you sign up for a membership or something like that, just to get yourself started. And if you want to stick with somebody because maybe they'll help you push you towards your goals, then I definitely recommend finding a good trainer that uh, will do that for you. So quick recap. One, walk more. Two, find something active that you like to do. <laughs> Three, head to the gym, hire a trainer. If you want to run, if you want to lift, make sure they know because then they will set up a program for you. And uh, the final one here is stay consistent, guys. With anything, you want to stay consistent. So I started lifting and getting into the fitness thing probably 14 years now ago. I, it's been a while. And it's just now to the point where it's like, this is the easiest thing to maintain ever. I love going to the gym because it's easy. I love lifting. I love the way it makes me feel. But now I'm at the point where, okay, my arms are getting large. You know, I'm finally seeing abs. My chest is becoming a chest instead of man boobs. You know, my legs are a pretty good size. You know, the glutes and everything are popping, you know. So the way I look is finally starting to reflect all of that work that I put in over the years. So that's many, many, many years if we're just looking at this, the aesthetic things. But you will see benefits of these things a week after starting this stuff. Like your brain will, it, your brain becomes more fresh and functional. Your mood will change. Like it's, it's just an amazing thing that fitness does for you. Trust me, but you have to remain consistent. One of my biggest tips also is don't overdo it. And I've done this a lot too, where it's, I'm, cause I'm an all in person or all out. Like if I'm going to be fitness and, and healthy and all that stuff, then I'm doing this 100%. We are not messing around, but sometimes I'll push myself a little too hard. And then I'm so sore for weeks, <laughs> you know, that it's, it, it becomes very easy to go ahead and quit because I'm too sore to walk or I'm too sore to do this or I'm too sore to do that. It's better to take it in bite sized pieces and, and, allow yourself to stick to something than trying to like take up bite off way more than you can chew. So that is, those are my tips guys. I hope this helps you. I hope you found some kind of uh, something you can use in it. In a future podcast, I'm hoping to do one that's a little bit more performance based. So if anybody's trying to get to that end game content <laughs> with their health and fitness, then uh, you can follow that one. So keep an eye out for that. But right now, heading over to the LWR. So last week was Thanksgiving. I hope it was fantastic for you and all of your family and friends. If you had some Friendsgivings, the poll of last week in the spirit of Thanksgiving was turkey or ham. Turkey crushed it with 71% of the votes. I love turkey. I love ham. Um, I had three Thanksgivings and I didn't have any ham. Disappointing. But I, I do love turkey more than ham. So I did not have to work this week, so I went ahead and streamed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, I would normally stream Saturday, but I had a Thanksgiving to go to on Saturday, and uh, also on Thursday, so there's there's plenty of Thanksgivings going on, so I worked around it. But my streams were a little bit longer during the week, so I think Tuesday and Wednesday were almost four hours. Um, but all my streams this week, I did on Mixer. So they all went pretty dang well. <laughs> Maybe all but Monday. I think Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday were all great. Had people in there. Got a bunch more follows. We're up to 32 followers. I think I gained 16 over the course of two days um, on Mixer, which is which is great. I mean, so my uh, my Pokemon my my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu streams went really good. Um, obviously, a bit younger of demographic or whatever, but. They uh, threw me the follows, and, and uh, we were having a good time and chatting it up, so that was good. So yeah, that was pretty much it for last week. We uh, were pretty busy last week. So this week, though, the plan for this week is going to be pretty standard, just trying to get back into the regular grind. Obviously, got to go back to work this week, so I'm going to have to, you know, <laughs> got to get through that. So uh, we'll be back to our normal times, probably like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday uh, kind of thing. But definitely keep an eye out on Twitter, Instagram, and I will let you know when we're going to go live. So, but for now, I think, guys, I think we're going to just be pushing it towards the mixer side of things and see uh, how we can grow over there and, um, you know, really, really push for more followers and get into the next level over there. I like I like Facebook. I just I just really like Mixer. Like I really like the community. I like the um, 
how it works. You know, the system works really well. When I want to stream, I just click stream and it works on Mixer. On Facebook, I have to set up all this stuff just to make it work. And it gets a little tedious and makes the streaming aspect of it a little less fun. Like if I want to stream for a little bit, I want to be able to just walk into my office, sit down, click stream, good to go. You know, instead of setting all this stuff up to make it work. So I know, I know. It could be worse. So anyways, we'll be getting out uh, this podcast and uh, the visualizer on YouTube as we always do. And yeah, so I hope uh, hope to catch you guys in the broadcast this week. Like I said, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and uh, be sure that you know when I'm going to go live. And uh, if you haven't already, and you have a Microsoft account, or don't have a Microsoft account, they're free, head on over to Mixer slash It's Thug with Nasty and make sure you pop me a follow so you got to uh, be in here on these live broadcasts this week. Again, hope you had a fantastic turkey day, and I hope you're not uh, waddling too much going back into work after this long extended holiday weekend. And yeah, stop by the broadcast. See you guys this week. Later. <laughs>